Tell your neighbor, I don't get what I wish for. I get what I fight for. And even, even Paul in the Bible says, fight according to the promises spoken to your life. You know, everybody's like, oh yeah, God wants me to, to, to have this and that. Fight. Fight for it. Fight for it. Begin to be a person that is not satisfied where you are at. Begin to stand on the promises of God. You're not comparing yourself to other ministries or to other people. No, we're standing and we are comparing ourselves to the promises that God has spoken to our life. God said it, that means I need to have it. Not because He has it, because God said that I should have it. Me and my family will serve the Lord. Yes, God said it to me. Yes, maybe my, my son is not saved. Maybe my parents are not saved. God, I'm fighting according to it. Satan, let my family go. Satan, let my brother go. Satan, let my sister go. Let my mother and my father go. This is the promise I have. Fight according to what God has given to you. You will get what you fight for. It's, it's, it's the process of freedom. As we receive our freedom, God will begin to put a spirit on inside of you that is not satisfied. Where you see in your business where things are not moving and you said, God, everything my hand touches will prosper. Something's not happy. Something's not right. I can't just sit back and relax. That's not what freedom brought into my life. Freedom brought me the power to begin to fight against the enemy because he's lurking at your door. But I have the power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ at my command. And I tell him to go and he will go in Jesus' name. Amen, someone? And the last one, the purpose of our freedom is reach the world around you. Reach the world around you. I believe our freedom is, is, is simply and our purpose is towards that. God wants you to reach your world. It might not be millions. It might not be on the stage where thousands of people, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what your journey holds. But God says that somebody is out there waiting for your prayer. They're just waiting for your prayer. If I come to your world, they might not hear me. But if you come into your world, They'll say, you know, I know this guy. He, he used to be with me. He used to do the same thing. What's different about his life? And then you begin to save and you begin to deliver and you begin to raise those people that are around you. When God called Moses out of Egypt, he didn't say, hey, I just feel bad for you. I, you're a murderer. Come on, just come into my bosom and I just, let's relax. No, God's like, God, uh, Moses, I'm going to equip you so I can send you right back to the people where you came from. I'm going to send you right back to the place where you grew up. Your homies and your cronies, the way you used to chill with, you're going to be the one preaching the gospel to them. You're going to be the one delivering their lives because you have a purpose in your life. I brought freedom into your life so you can raise to deliver other people around you. I'm telling you, life will be meaningless without that purpose. You won't some people get mistaken what is a career and what is a calling in their life you still can do business but your mission is always people you still can be a doctor but your mission will always be people the lost you still can be a lawyer but your mission will be the loss the people around you you can be a soccer star you can be an artist you can be a singer whatever it may be but your mission is always people It'll always be people there's somebody out there right now crying out in their depression, their suicidal thoughts. Say, so God, send somebody. When, when, when God comes to Moses, says, I heard the cry. That's what it is. I heard the cry. God hears the cry of your world. God says, you came to, you came to raise to deliver, not by mistake. You got delivered yesterday, you got delivered tonight, today, tomorrow, not by mistake. I'm, I want to prepare you for something more than just yourself. God heart, God's heart hurts for people. God's heart beats for people. As you're around them, you might see them, oh, they're all fine. And that God says, I hear the pain. I hear their loneliness. I hear their cry at night when nobody else sees it. I'm preparing you for something greater. This conference is not so you can have a wonderful experience. This conference is for your equipment to go back into your church, to go back into your schools, to go back into your family and know who you are in Christ Jesus. Know the position that God has given you and say, I am, uh, God has put me in a place of delivering. Yeah, I might not speak good, 
I might not have a good track record. I might have some felonies. I might be a murderer, but God can take a murderer and make him into a deliverer. I might be unstable, but God can take me and build a church on me. I might not have enough, but God will use me to impact my generation. In Exodus 7 verses 1 to 2, God says this. So the Lord said to Moses, See, I have made you as a God to Pharaoh. I believe God is telling you today, I'm making you a God to you, the people around you. To those demons that are tormenting your life. You're going to be, they're going to bow when you begin to speak the name of Jesus. When you begin to, begin to open your mouth, God's going to put words in your mouth. They'll begin to be like a double-edged sword piercing through every demon, every chain in their life. And you're going to say, let my people go. And the people will begin to come out of their darkness, come out of their addiction, come out of their suicidal thoughts. And they will say, if not you, I would have taken my life. If not because of your testimony, I wouldn't be here today. And this is the point and the purpose of our freedom. I want every single person to rise up on your feet right now. I want you to begin to raise up your hands and begin to say, Father, I thank you that you set me free. God, I thank you that you're giving me a purpose. God, I thank you that you're giving me a vision. God, I thank you that you're equipping me to fight. God, I thank you that you're giving me a, 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 giving me a love that knows you, that knows who I am in Christ Jesus. God, I'm not satisfied where I am. I know that you've given me a purpose. God, I know that you're sending me to my own world. Come on, begin to open up your lips right now. Begin to raise up your hands. Begin to say, Father, I thank you for your delivering power.